I got gold around my neck, that shit to make you blink. YouTube, what is up? What is good with you guys? It's the Bull Nate. Shout out to the Bull Nation. How feeling good, man? I'm feeling good. And today, we're going to be talking about how the American people are trying to, you know, they're trying to get their power back. And this is, obviously, this is mainly st still from, well, still from, stemming from the recent port strike where I believe it's like said 75,000 port workers on the East Coast um, went for strike. You know, uh, mainly because of the pay, and then apparently, uh, apparently it was like a, a, like automation, where like, they, uh, um, I've been like reading a couple of things. So I think that the previous agreement, um, I guess like the port companies was supposed to have automation, like all that, but they did, and that, apparently that breached the contract, and then like I said, the the pay increase, but. I made I made this video because in a in an age where there's so much misinformation or so much I guess different like AI things, it's so easy to you know divide the American people or divide just people in general. You know, the, the only guy, only gotta be American, but it's always power when when a mass of people can like agree on one thing and stick to it. Um, and I see that's how a lot of stuff in, in America was developed. You know, in, in starting back to how the country was country was born. <clears throat> the settlers here, you know, they, they was tired of the British rule. They wanted to have their own thing, their own country. What well, happened? Joined together, fought against the British, Revolutionary War. We won. America, boom, crazy. And then you know, I see that's how like the, got the Constitution, all that good stuff. So. Honestly, normally good things happen when a bunch of people are together and agree on one thing. And I kind of felt like recently that's been kind of like lost. Like I felt like more so like the rich, the elite have really separated themselves from us. And at the same time, they've been doing a really good job at, you know, dividing the majority of the of the country. You know, you know, you got Democrat, Republican, or you're conservative, you liberal. Do you believe this? Do you believe that? And then you got the one race and ethnicity and gender. So it's been so many things that have divided our country, and where and that's and that's why they've been able to you know increase the separation from like this is us, like this is us, and then them is like all the way up there, and that's yeah, and it's because it's a uh, <clears throat> the separation, you know, being divisive of the American people, but. This port strike is really like raising eyebrows because obviously America gets so many imports from countries like China, um, the Middle East, Mexico, kind of other countries, part of Japan. Um, so obviously we're, we're we're bringing in so much stuff, especially on the East Coast, um, where so like I think I believe they said we're losing. Like about like what five billion dollars a day with this. So the American the American people, the American workers, have so much power to get you know honestly what, what we kind of ideally want or need. Um, that I would not be surprised if we see more people or more workers do the same thing. You know, you might see more unions pop up or more unions try to get more dollars. Um, so I saw like I know like I remember like the Boeing strike. Um, I think earlier this year that, that was one. I know like the I think Amazon workers were threatening to go on strike or went on strike for a little bit. That's another thing that's been devastating. Um, and the key, the honestly, the key is this, is like to like the, like I see like in the in the things like I know a lot of people are like oh you know like like this this is disrupting you know America and this and that just to get a little bit of money, but I'm like. You got you got to do something to you know get what you want, especially in America because the rich are not gonna do that. The rich are gonna give you like just enough to like you know minimize things, but it won't get you what you are looking truly looking for or maybe truly worth unless you got uh, you got hurt they got hurt their pockets. <clears throat> same name, same name with the with the boycott, the bus boycotts. Shoot, a lot of uh, minorities were taking the bus. 
They stopped riding the bus. Bus company was losing hella money. They changed the rule. Boom. See, it is saying, like I said, I'm like, yo, like if people can, we can just come together for like our common goals. We can literally change so much in America. We're like we could literally change wages. We could change laws. We could change just trends. We could, you know, change maybe just like the different hierarchy or so much. But like I said, there's been so much division, especially like the past like five, ten years. There's so much division and things like that, but like if we could just come together and like just you know just put like small differences aside, because I don't see like a lot of stuff I see on Twitter and stuff like that is like small stuff that could be like talked about if people want to actually you know, talk about it. But it looks like it's looking like small stuff, because I mean, because because honestly, not everybody's going to have the same ideology. We're not going to have the same you know thought process for a certain thing, but. Normally, a goal so big could be so shared, is normally shared by a lot, a lot of people, and we just need to come together, just like how the port workers are doing right now. You know, that's how you know, like I said, the uh, settlers back before the country was uh, in America. So you got the uh, Montgomery uh, bus boycott. That was like, I, I, like, like, I, like, I'm just throwing out a few examples. Like, obviously, there's been plenty more strikes and boycotts and you know, coups out there, but. I just, I just, those, like, those kind of came to mind first, and they pretty much, like, support what I'm just trying to say, because <clears throat> as American people, we have a lot of power, like, we're, like, we really don't use it, because, obviously, it could be because of fear, it could be because, obviously, losing money, it could just be, you know, we just don't want to, like, you know, really disrupt things, but you gotta yeah, I feel like I feel like now like I feel like now's like a good time to be brave. Right now's a good time to <clears throat> you know, stand up because I feel like things are just going completely left right now. And I I'm not saying left like okay, I'm not saying it could be like left like going like overboard, going crazy, going the wrong direction. So and like I said, there's so much wage gap that once well, not once, but eventually it's going to be so big where you're either going to be rich or you're going to be poor. And honestly, a lot of us are going to be in that poor category just because of how wages and salaries and how the social class is now. It's only going to slowly but surely expand, I think, in my opinion. So, that's going to be ran. I just, I just wanted just to point that out because I feel like now is the time. Now is the time to... No, form together. We gotta, we gotta just join forces together. No matter race, ethnicity, ideology, um, gender, whatever. We gotta just come together and get things improved, get things done. Tim a day, a day. That's like a, it's like a politician right now. <laughs> so, hey. I'm for, for president. What year is it? 2024. So, do, 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 do. So, 2036. Boom. 2036. Run for president. The bull. <laughs> the bull Nate. <laughs> but I will. Let me uh, catch y'all next video.